tonight starts Shabbat. Children, this week is a very special week. It's what's called Parashat Chazak. We finished reading the book of Bamidbar. Tomorrow in Shul, in the Beta Knesset, the rabbi will read from the Torah. And they're going to finish reading the book of, ba- of Bamidbar. How many Chumashim do we have? One. Uh, yes, yes, Mashki, yes. Five. Five. Anybody knows the things of the five books of the Torah? Somebody else? It starts with Bereshit. Okay, Kayla, yes. Sheet? Bara. I'm uh, sorry, Bereshit Shmot. Vayikra. Bamidbar. Okay. This week we finish Sefer Bamidbar. Bamidbar talks all about how the Jewish people traveled in the desert. In Egypt, the Jewish people were slaves to a very bad king. What was the name of that king? Paro. Paro was a very bad king, children. And he made them slaves. And Hashem sent a great, great Torah leader. Moshe. Thank you, Moshe Rabbeinu. And they were supposed to go straight from Egypt over here. Straight into the land of Israel. But instead they wandered in the desert for many, many years. How many years did the Jewish people wander in the Three. desert? Thank yeah. you. Up a cloud. How many? Three. Forty years. And Moshe Rabbeinu in Sefer uh, Bamidbar. It teaches us children all the things that happened in the Midbar. So the Jewish people came out of Egypt. Hashem split the sea for them. I'm sorry, counselors. It's getting very noisy. If you see somebody making a noise, if you don't mind helping to keep them quiet. Thank you. And Hashem did lots of miracles for the Jewish people in the desert. Hashem sent clouds to protect them. Hashem sent special food from Shemaim. What was that food? Man, man. Good job, Rifki. Man. If you want to something, sent them lovely, refreshing, delicious water that came out of a rock. A big rock. That's right. And the Jewish people lived in the desert in tents. And they were traveling now. And now at the end of Sefer Bamidbar, they're going to be coming in very soon into the land of Israel. Children, throughout Sefer Bamidbar, there's stories again and again that the one who led the Jewish people was Moshe Rabbeinu. And the Torah is teaching us that always, always, the ones who lead the Jewish people are our big Torah leaders, our rabbis. And that Hashem always sends great rabbis to lead the Jewish people just like Moshe Rabbeinu. Today I am going to tell you a story about a very great rabbi by the name of the Semach Tzedek. There was a Jewish man, his name was Yankel. Oh, I work very hard. I live in a little house. I'm not very rich. I live in this little house together with my wonderful wife and lots of children. And what we do with in our houses, we've turned our house like into an inn, into a hotel to make money. Yes, so people pass by our city, our village, and they come, they eat food, and they pay us. And that's how we make money. Yeah, Baruch Hashem. Shh. I help my daddy and mommy. My name is Hannah, and I'm always helping my daddy and mommy to run our inn. Our inn is owned by a big, important man. He's called a pirate. I'm the pirate. I'm like a king. I live in a big palace, and I own all the lands. And even the land on which girls spend, the house that Yankel owns, the little inn that he has, that's also on my land. And the children, Yankel was very happy in his house, but it was very hard 
to pay the rent, but he was very careful to pay the rent every month. One day, quite out of the ordinary, even though he paid very carefully, the pirate sent a message. He said, Yanko, you can't live in that house anymore. I'm making you leave. You have to leave the house I gave you to live in, the one you're renting from me. You can't stay there anymore. The children, Yanko was so worried. He said, oh no, what should I do? I have to live in my house. That's how I make money. I make money by making my little house like an inn. And what am I going to do? Oh no. And now the pirate says, I have to leave my inn. Oh, please, Hashem, help me. What should I do? I know. I'll go to the big tzaddik, the tzemach tzedek. And I will ask the big rabbi, the tzaddik, the tzemach tzedek, for a bracha. He comes, and he comes to the city of Lubavitch, where the tzemach tzedek lived. And he knocked on the door. And he came in. And he said, Rebbe Tzemach Tzedek, please can you help me? I live in a lovely house that I use as an inn. But now the pirates wants the inn back and I'm going to have nowhere to live. Please, Rebbe Tzemach Tzedek, can you give me a bracha? And the Rebbe said, you know what? You should go to the house of tall Moshe. There's a man in your village who's very tall. His name is Tol Moshe. Go to Tol Moshe and he will help you. And Yanko said, okay, Rebbe, thank you. But then when he left, he said, oh, no. Why did the Rebbe say I should go to the house of Tol Moshe? Tol Moshe is just a simple Rebbe, a Rebbe. This is Tol Moshe. Tol Moshe is a Rebbe who teaches little children Torah in his house. He isn't rich at all. He's very tall, but he isn't rich. But then there's another man in our village who is short, Moshe. He's like very short. I'll try and make him very short. This is tall, Moshe. This is short, Moshe. And short, Moshe is very rich. Short, Moshe works for the pirates as his manager. He takes care of all the houses and all the lands. Oh no, why did the Rebbe say I should go to tall Moshe? Short Moshe is the one who is so rich and powerful and works for the pirates to manage all the different houses. I'm The Rebbe must have meant short Moshe. I don't know what to do, but he couldn't go back again into the room of the Tzemach Tzedek to ask him what to do. And so, Moshe goes and asks the Tzemach Tzedek's son. And he said, son of the Tzemach Tzedek, I went to your father, the Rebbe, to ask for a bracha that I should keep my house. And he said that I should talk to tall Moshe. But tall Moshe in my village is a very unimportant man. He's a Rebbe who teaches little children Torah. He lives all the way at the edge of the village by the frozen river. He doesn't have anything to do like with money and being very rich. Short Moshe, he is the one who is very powerful. He is the one who works for the pirates and decides who lives in which house. Must be a father meant I should go to Short Moshe. That, that's a Martzedek son said, no, my father, the Rebbe, is a tzaddik. And whatever he says is through Ruach HaKodesh. Just like Moshe Rabbeinu led the Jewish people in the desert. He had Ruach HaKodesh. Our Rabbeinu, they have Ruach HaKodesh. And if my father, the Tzemach Tzedek, told you to go to tall Moshe's house, you should go to tall Moshe, not short Moshe. And so he said, okay. He agreed. And he said, okay, I'm going. And he comes to short Moshe's, sorry, to tall Moshe's house. He said, tall Moshe, the Tzemach Tzedek sent me to your house. He said, you can help me to keep my inn, to keep my house. 
Me? I'm just a simple Rebbe who teaches little children Torah. How can I help you? I don't know. The Rebbe said to come to your house. Okay. You can go up to the attic and sleep in the attic. And let's wait till the morning. It's late at night now. And it's cold. It's winter. Look. My house is out by the frozen river with all the snow. You can't even see the roads properly. And you can't see the river properly. It's all snowed up. It's not so safe to travel now. Go to sleep up in the attic. And so, Yankel goes to the attic and he says, I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to dive into Hashem. I'm going to say to Helen. And he lit a candle, children. He lit you in a minute, turn it down. Go, go back to your seat. We're giving candy in a minute. He lit a candle. In, yeah, my darling. Yes, sweetie. He lit a candle in the attic. And shining from the attic window was the candle shining far out into the night. All of a sudden, in the middle of the night, there was banging on the door. Help! Help! Please help! He opened the door, and it was the pirate's guard. He said, I'm the pirate's guard. Oh no, I was with him on his wagon. We were going for a long walk. I mean, a long ride, him and his daughter, in the fancy carriage. And we went over the frozen river. And the river broke. And the carriage with the horses and the pirates and his daughter are falling into the river and they're drowning. It's dangerous. Please help. Please help. And they ran to go help. And they said, of course we'll help. And they ran to go help. Tall Moshe helped the pirates. And he said, pirates, pirates. Here, I'll help you. Let me get you out of the frozen river. And the pirate said, Wow, we're so lucky. Shh, girls, I'm so sorry. Every little noise disturbs. I'm so sorry. He says, Wow, we saw the light in the middle of the night. Thank you. Who put that light? If not for seeing that light, we would never have found this house. Everything was pitch black. Thank you for leaving your lights on. Oh, I didn't leave my light on. It wasn't me. You know who it was? It was Yankel. Yankel was using my house. He's my guest in my house. And he lit a candle in the attic to say to Helene late at night. That's the light you saw. You saw Yankel. Yankel really saved you. And the pirate said, wow. Thank you, Yankel. I am so grateful to you, Yankel, for saving my life and for helping to get us out of the frozen river. Mwah! Thank you, Yankel. And he said, what can I do for you, Yankel? I'll help you whatever you want. Oh, pirates, please let me stay in my house. I really need my house. Oh, okay. You know why I was sending you out of your house? Because short Moshe wanted the house for his nephew. His nephew was getting married and short Moshe is my manager. He decides who goes into which houses. So short Moshe told me I should kick you out of your house and give him the house to give to his nephew. And Yankel said, wow. I can't believe it. I was going to go to Short Moshe to ask him to help me. I didn't realize he was the one who was really throwing me out of the house. The one who told me to go to Tall Moshe, who is just a Melamed, just a Rebbe, was who, who, who told him? Do you remember? The Rebbe, the, Rebbe, the Tzemach Tzedek, right? And he said, wow, the Tzemach Tzedek was right. He saw with Ruach HaKodesh that the pirates would fall into the frozen river. See, he was traveling to his big palace and he was traveling over the river, not realizing it was a river. And the river cracked and he fell inside the frozen river. And it was the candle, the 
light in the middle of the night that saved that saved the pirates and because he saved the pirates with his candle because he was saying to Elim and davening to Hashem that's what happened that he saved the pirates' life and now the pirates allowed him to keep his house and he said because you saved my life now I'm giving you the house as a present. You can keep it for always and you don't have to pay rent anymore. And children, the lesson of the story we learn is that when a tzaddik tells us something, tzaddikim say every, see everything with ruach ha-kodesh. They, they, they don't just say things because it sounds nice. If they say something, it's with ruach ha-kodesh. And children, our rebbe's, uh, Rebbe, specifically the Lubavitcher Rebbe, has been telling us that very, very soon Mashiach is coming. Amen. So Mashiach come very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Everybody stay in your seats. Marlea's going to come announce the winners of Bunkum. Oh, wow.